There's just no queen like a vegan queen. Oh, hello. Hello. Hello, you gorgeous lot. It's me and her. I'm that, I'm that, what's your name? What's my name? Yeah, tell them. I'm the fun in your morning bun, Mavis Malarkey. <laughs> and I'm Rita Ridiculous. Not sure why they call me that, really, because obviously I'm not ridiculous at all. No, yeah. Now, the boys, let's sing my song. Oh, yes. Those vegan guys. Those lovely vegan guys have lured us into the kitchen again. <laughs> and they've said, girls, what do you fancy making this time? Well, we said, do you know what? We fancy making a right nice focaccia. Focaccia. Yeah. Do you know what that is? Is it a bread with herbs? It is. Well, it's not necessarily got herbs. You can make a plain focaccia. You can make a great focaccia. Oh. You can make one with herbs and oh. cheese. That's where I got that We're from. going to today, what we're going to do is we're going to do a garlic and rosemary focaccia. And we're going to do uh, rosemary. Yes. And um, thyme. No. Garlic. Garlic. For Karcher. So you can see we're all set here. We've got our accoutrements. Let's give you a list of the ingredients before we start to kind of incorporate them, and then we'll move the camera so because we know you want to look at us, not these, not the bowls. Not the flour, not the salt, which happen to be the ingredients. So, you need a large mixing bowl each. Yes? Nice large mixing bowl. You need 500 grams of strong white bread flour, maybe. Right. It has to be bread flour. Is that readily available, Rita? Yes, I mean, uh, look at this here now. This one's from Sainsbury's. We're not getting any money off them, so shop where you like. So, strong white bread flour. This is lovely. 500 grams. 500 grams. Oh, I'll just take my rings off. Safety first. We also need each 325 millilitres. Yes. Of tepid water. Tepid water. Tepid. tepid. So, here's your tepid water. Thank love. you, love. And Cheers. we need a sachet each. Of yeast. Oh, lovely. Fast action yeast, seven grams. Does this rip, rip in half? I hope so. Well, it's going to be a right conniption. Oh, do you know? Is it not? No. You need scissors. Five Luke. That's a bit weird, isn't it? If I'm scissors, where well, must scissors be? Oh, here they are. We'll cut it down the middle of them. Oh, well, love. There you so, are. seven grams of fast acting yeast. And what we're going to do is we're each going to pop this sachet. There's yours, Karen. Thank you, love. Sorry, Mavis into our 325 mils of water and that's going to give it a chance to activate you've got to activate your yeast activate this is of course the problem with thrush i was going to say you've got quite a bit of experience in that area <sighs> so pour that in turns out clean the baby you have is recurring thrush since that really mm, mold yeah i, yeah, I wonder why America. Right. Put me yeast in. Let's get a spoon each and then we can stir it all. Oh, lovely. I love stirring it. Now, we're going to give that a chance to activate. Oh, it's gone very lumpy. Yeah, it will do. It's okay. Okay. Just give it a nice stir. This reminds me of working on the waltz, is this? Do to go faster? Yeah. Well, you can. <laughs> Leave that in there now, yeah? Okay. Fabulous. Right. 500 grams. Do you want to move the camera, Jason? Or not? Are you alright there? Can you see the bolts? Uh, not quite, no. No, I can, it's fine. Alright. 500 grams. 500 grams. Strong white bread flour in your bowl. In the bowl. And. Enough. Do they use teaspoons or tablespoons? I think it's tablespoons, love. Oh, one, no, it's teaspoons of salt. Oh, oh, see, that could have been a right. So, 
one and a half teaspoons of salt. I'm just going to guess. Rent a car and we're here. Hey, it's only one and a half teaspoons of salt. I know, I know, it's just. It's because I'm a bit done it like an Austin Powers wee. I've been there for ages. Now. Two tablespoons yes. of extra virgin olive oil. And they can go into our activated yeast oil. I think I'm going to put it in there, yeah? Why not? No, I'm going to put it straight in here. Oh, they'll do that instead, yeah. One. One. Come and do yours for you, Karen. If you're there, Mavis. if you don't mind. Mavis, if you don't mind. I've only known her 25 years, you know. Barely scratched the surface. Thank you, love. Oh! Now, Karen says to me, she does one of these with um, oh. mozzarella and pesto. She's a gluten, isn't she? <laughs> well, I said ignore Karen, she's even vegan. Exactly. Right. And we'll be back in a couple of minutes after our yeast is fully activated, and you can see the next bit. Oh hello, we've had a change of frock, a change of air, a change of mind about doing this, we're going. <laughs> we're back. So we've got us 500 grams of flour as discussed, with our two tablespoons of oil in there already. Mm -hmm. And then we've got our 325 millilitres of tepid water, with our 7 gram packet of yeast in it. Yes. What we're going to do is stir and pour, I'm just pouring a lot in me. Oh, oh Nev, yeah. All right, lovely, there we go. Marvellous. Put them over here. And then we're going to use our plastic object. Spatula, you dirty, dirty people. Plastic. We're going to be using our plastic object to form this into a ball of dough. dough. Now, believe me when I say it, this is going to be tedious long and boring so we'll skip to the next scene and we'll work on this like the good old housewives we are oh it ain't half stringy it's knocking me sick <laughs> my bag of pudding Ah, oh, you've remembered about the... Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. I didn't come up the Manchester Ship Canal and arrive either. Wow. Well, well <laughs> maybe that one time in the 60s. That was you haven't mm -hmm. needed the work. Mm-hmm. We're not filming this for an hour because I've just said, oh, we're filming it. Well, that was back in my Bond girl days, you see. Oh, so yeah, straight back into character. Mm-hmm. Hashtag pro. <laughs> no, it was, it was, I was third in line to be Debbie McGee at one point. I was gutted about that. She's got a lovely life with Paul. Had. Had a lovely life with Paul. Nothing lasts forever. You gonna sneeze? No. Oh. Hey, look. I know, it's coming into a nice ball of dough, isn't it? Look at this. Maybe it's in Did It Right Shock. Look at that! A <laughs> Right, I'm gonna get in there with my hands, me now. Oh, shall we do, shall we do hands? Because I want it worked really well. You better work. It's gonna be a bit damp because of your hand, but that's good, that's a good thing. Don't you worry about that. I'm not worried. Don't cry. I've lovely hands, me. Hey, um, you just get all that off. Is what I meant. We don't want waste, do we? No. In a minute, yeah. we have to flower this surface yeah. here, and we have to work this for ten minutes. One whole minute? Ten whole minutes. With his hands. Oh. 
And then she bear all this on the sides. Oh, well. If you're still watching, you can see why I've gone with the wind at an interval, can't you? <laughs> well, we've decided to sit down for this bit because it really is a ten minute job. None of us can stand stuff on our hands. Karen, keep your thoughts to yourself. Mm hmm Oh, no, she's, a, she's an eczema. That, that's a real condition. And so, we've got us ball of dough, and now we have to work it for 10 minutes on a lightly floured surface. Make sure you get all your dough that's out very there. very light. Karen. Yeah. Mavis. Mavis. Tina. I'm sick of being misnamed. Tina? I quite like Tina. I thought you might like yeah, that. Yeah, I like that. Right. And it's basically, we're just working it. Do mm. you know how to knead? Yeah, I'm kneading. Oh yeah. I, I was going to suggest one hand, but you want to do two. So you just work in this into a really good dough and you have to do this literally for 10 minutes. Let's stare at camera while we're doing it and then we'll speed this scene up and it might look right funny, but don't make any expressions. Like You're talking. Sex. That's Sorry. an expression. See by all this popular cash. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Watson's for that matter. <sighs> I feel like an old country woman. You know? You look like an old country woman. Silly old country woman. <laughs> <laughs> what, from a silly old country? Doing country crafts for crafty. Oh, look! What? No, nothing. Remarkably, how uh, flexible your door was. I'm just doing this now. Yeah. <sighs> Flowers gone all over my dress. It's not on mine. It is now. How long have we been doing this now? About two minutes. Four minutes. I mean, it's worth it because, you know, it mixes in proper, all the yeast gets incorporated properly, the salt gets incorporated properly, everything gets evenly mixtured. It's good for your cardio as well. You get to whack out a bit of frustration. Shut up, Karen! You're not even vegan! Like that. I thought you were pretending that would build then. No. No. He's snotted off, hasn't he? <laughs> and he owes me. We'll be able to get all these bits off the table. Yeah. With your door. Mm-hmm. Well, they have, look. No flies on me. Are you all? I'm all right. I'm a bit sort of like the grind of daily work, you know. I mean, it's worth doing, isn't it? Because you can say you've made your own bread. Yeah. I've made my own bread today. Yeah. Very impressive if you were throwing a dinner party. What are you making? Made of focaccia. What an horrible thing to say to Archer. It's an Italian bread, Karen.
Well, a garage could be in Naples. <laughs> <laughs> What's that river called in Italy? The Rhine? Yeah. No, it's Germany, isn't it? I thought you were doing a joke. <laughs> <laughs> the, um, the, the, the Romanov River. More minutes of me doing it. Oh, this is I need me you. La, la 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 you're the one I want. Bread. I need you. Do you remember that song? Yeah. La 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 la, you're the one I want. Gonna call you Fred. Don't remember those Fred. <laughs> No, well, I don't say I think I'm gonna be on there. <laughs> Do you know, love, this reminds me of leaving school, this. What, what? My what? first job. Well, I worked in that bread shop because I needed the dough, didn't I? Do you remember when I worked in that cake shop and I used that to you? <laughs> Don't get that in. Every time I sing you, I sing. Why <laughs> oh, you scream? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, right, enjoyed that, you know. Did you? I did. The only reason I winced because I felt that hand. I know he's bitter. So into a well-oiled bowl, we put our worked dough, so I'll just put a little trickle in it. And if you just rub it round with your fingers, mm -hmm. maybe. Uh, on the sides. Yeah. yeah. And what this does is, while the um, while the dough is hopefully like doubling in size, over the hour we're going to leave it in here, we don't want it to stick to the sides of the bowl. Yeah. So, well-oiled bowl, get your dough in there, and then turn it around. Oh yes. And then it's already oiled. Oh yeah. Do you get me? Well done. So it's oiled, it's in the bowl. All we do now is we cover this with a tea towel. We're gonna wash our hands, cover this with a tea towel, and leave it for an hour. And then we'll come back and see ya. Classy game of dominoes, what we wear, love. Oh, I'd love to whack my charade out. Oh why don't we give some obscene phone calls to Bill? <laughs> Again? Yeah. Yeah, go on, he's not extra retro yet. Yeah. See you in an hour. Well, oh. Well, it's been an hour. Mm. We've watched a couple of episodes of Emmerdale. We haven't had one. Shocking, no. <laughs> and uh, we thought you might like to see how big our balls have got. Oh. Are you ready? Oh, the yeah. unveiling. The unveiling. One, two, three. Oh, that's nearly tripled in size. <laughs> Look at that. And that done all right, that? It's done, yeah. <gasps> so that's at least doubled. Easy. Inside. Easy. So, take it out. Can you see how airy that is now that it's had time to kind of Mine's like an e jam. Right, and then we can just right in the centre. Yeah. Now so satisfying. <laughs> now what we need to do is we need to stretch this out. Yes. Now don't worry, we're gonna prove this again once we've done this stage. So we stretch this out and we try and get it into the kind of loaf shape that we actually want for when we do get round to baking. Just give it a nice stretch out. It's a lovely dough, isn't it, Look, you know what, and it's oily, but not in an obnoxious way. No, and well, most of the oil that we're on top mm. has kind of soaked in. Soaked I mean, in. I've got a film on my hands. Film on my hands. But I don't, I will have you. <laughs> I will have your guts for garters. 
and your eyes for tomatoes, and your knees for potatoes, and your legs for potatoes. You won't get much of And I'll spend them in Spain while I'm eating your brain. I don't think this is appropriate content for a vegan channel. <laughs> I meant, um, you know, like a vampire eating your, um, My eating your knowledge. Ram. I'm so clever. Very good. You know how I was there things. You could have my photographic collection of family now, affairs memorabilia. Don't let don't. I won't let it go over the side. I'm gonna tuck it in. Don't worry. You know, because what you're making those bits at the ends really thin. Oh, okay. Right, you said, which is why I said stretch out from the middle. I did. <sighs> Ladies, how do you cope with your daughters out there in the world? Do they listen to you? Do they pay heed? To the advice and the, the years of knowledge that you give them? Or do they always do things their own stupid way and show you up? I'm just asking. I'm going to say, why have you brought this up? It's not relevant to I'd what's love to now. <laughs> right. Have you got, have you got your little loaf? Well, yeah, it's, it's alright. Yeah. 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 Alright. Right. Now, the final stage before baking, <gasps> the tea towels that we've already covered them up with, we cover them up with again, and we leave in a slightly warm, non-drafty place, which is basically over there on Paul and Jason's side working up cabinet near the bread bin. Funnily enough. Are we on? Oh, near a bread bin and it's bread. Ah! Oh, no. It's a laugh a minute. We'll leave this. <laughs> but, oh, Karen. What? You answer to it. <gasps> Stay in. No, I've been duped. <laughs> <laughs> Ignore Karen. She isn't even vegan. I am vegan and I'm nervous. Yes, it's true. Said it. So we'll leave this for 30 to 40 minutes, really. Seriously, because okay. it, it now needs to prove again. So it, it will swell up again. And then we'll come back for the final stage before we bang it in the oven and stuff. What do those big guys say they're going to do with food? Stuff the guts. Is that right? No, stuff in the spaces. Stuff in the spaces. Stuff in the spaces. I am a subscriber. Stuff in the spaces. Stuff in the spaces. Oh, ah, uh, folk. <laughs> New York, London, Paris, Munich, everybody talk about for capture. I like to be in a new kitchen, making bread in a new kitchen. Look at it, because it's a bit like, isn't it? Eh? It's very fancy. Uh, right, we're ready for the next step. The question is, my darling, are you ready for the next step? Oh! What a big loaf! Look at us, door! That's this. I don't know. Ew. Well, don't uh, point that out on camera. <laughs> right. Uh -huh. What we do now is. Can you see them, Jason? Ah! Right. Pork your finger in at several intervals. Like this. Got a smile. Right, that's and now in different places to them, shove your olives in. Right. I'm gonna shove my pieces of garlic in. With me. It's so exotic, isn't it? It's nice, isn't it? it? And this door will like rise up around these bits of garlic. Like a phoenix. And it'll roast in there, which will be lovely. Now I'm only putting my olives in at this stage, aren't I? Yes, what we're gonna do with yours yes. is we're going to put some Greek style, Sainsbury's vegan Greek style cheese in it, mm -hmm. but we're gonna bake it for about 15 minutes first so the cheese doesn't burn. Of course, yes. Well thought though. Garlic is right the way through this now. It's sort of infectious it's disease, doesn't it? It's way. nice. Oh, it does a bit, yeah. I'm sure, my cousin Sally had that. Uh, 
Uh, oh, there's a little bit there. Where I forgot. There we go. Right. So, um, look at I've got sure. one there, one there. And then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to get my rosemary mm. and press it in. Like that. Yeah? Yes. Very good. Press it right into the bread. So that will the flavour then suffuse throughout. Yes. Will it? Yes. Good. And there we go. We've got our olive and cheese and our garlic and rosemary focaccia. Focaccia. Ready for the oven. In 15 minutes time we'll take Earth out, sprinkle a bit of cheese on top, final 10 minutes until golden brown and baked through. Focaccia's your bread, Rita's your pal, so is Mavis, make it, it's vegan. And nobody's carrying. Here, yeah, give us a pal, give us yours down. Thanks, love. Uh, oh, you slid that in smooth. Oh, well done, love. Uh, right, we'll see you in 15 minutes. Of course, then there's your old reason. Are we recording? Oh my god. Huh? He's been recording all that time. What were we talking Paul about? Paul told him, don't record when we're not doing anything. No. Because we're taught naughty words sometimes. I was talking about fallopian tubes. Right. Oh, look at that. Not ready yet. No, but still. Oh, we'll swap one round in a minute. Then. Oh, look at that. A big pie. It's not a pie. Right. Now then. Also, what we want to do now. Yes. Um, oh, right, love. You want to be grating some of that on there. This is deliciously free from Greek star feta from Sainsbury's, but other brands of a similar consistency are available. Right, here's what I'm going to do. Okay. I'm going to be really filthy with mine. I'm going to put a little bit of oil in here. Plot twist. Extra virgin olive oil. Yes. We'll do the same for yours and all because it'll have the cheese stick. Oh, I see. Oh, right, right based. So, so we're just going to give it a very light brushing. Ah. Over the top. That's going to be golden now as well. That'll be lovely. Just look at that. Lovely golden brown texture like sun. That's that heroin. Uh, cut that. <laughs> uh, right, grater. Now, do you want a fine grate or a thicker grate? A thicker grate. A thicker grate. Do you want to that? I I've got them down here. Sorry. I want to lift some of these. Here. You know. And how much roughly would you have? Hold that in your hand and just do that. Yeah. All oh, the top. That. Not too much. Just bits. Yeah. But bits all over. Yes. Bits all over. The new single from Steps. That'll do. Yeah? I think so. Yeah, lovely. You just want a little cheese kind of topping. Let's get these bits that you've grated and dropped like a stupid girl. That's why you put them up there, isn't it? <laughs> How silly. Right. Now. We'll get that one back in. Oh, oh, oh! And I hope, I hope. It's stuck. Oh, she's fine. She's fine. I'll get rid of this. Clean as you go. Tidy home to happy home. Clean as you go and let the world go by. Come on, lads and lessons. <laughs> I'll put this way. You're not having cheese, are you, love? No, I'm no. going to paint this one mm -hmm. with this oil. Like I've done that other one. Yes. Will you pass me the sea salt, darling? I would be delighted. Have I left it out? Yes, it's there. I'm going to do this on top. <gasps> Bills. Right. Someone think of the children. Garlic, rosemary and salt. If anybody can tell me... The other name of the other two Spice Girls. The very famous movie <laughs> that that comes from. Somebody's handed a piece of meat, I know, horrific, and says to the cook, what should I do with this? And he says, garlic, rosemary, and salt. Just like that. Tell me the movie. 
put in the cupboards. Oh. Slide into her DMs. Hook her in the box. Right. Quick. Final 10 minutes in the oven. <sighs> Literally going through menopause today. Literally. Do you want to stand in the fridge? I need to. Do you know what I mean? Go on, love. Um, so, yeah, we'll see you in 10 minutes and we'll have a lovely taste test while it's nice and hot. Dipped in oil and balsamic. I can barely wait. I can. I can barely wait. Go on, get in there. I love the space near the floor. Ladies and gentlemen, we present to you Focaccia. Times two. Rosemary, garlic, and salt. Feta and olive. It's not feta. Greek style cheese and olive. And olive. What we should do now, really, Mr. Bromley, who's been behind the camera all day, yes. maybe you should come and sit with us. We should cut the end off each loaf, get three nice chunks, yeah. a little bowl with extra virgin olive oil and a bit of balsamic in it. We'll have a dip. What do you that. reckon? Oh, I'd love it. Yeah, let's get it sorted. Right, let's do that. Hello! It's done. It's done. Garlic focaccia. Best bit. Garlic, rosemary and salt. Mm -hmm. And olive and Greek cheese. Yes. Um, I want to try a bit of it on its own first and then dip it. Oh, do oh, you? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, controversial. I know. So this is the, the first one, the rosemary and uh, garlic. Mm-hmm. Oh, mmm. Mm -hmm. Wow. Oh, well, there's a little bit of garlic in that. Well done, ladies. But not too much. No. Mmm. -hmm. Oil and balsamic. Mmm, I'm going to have a dip. How oh, dare I? Oh, how dare I? What do you like to do? Mmm. Mmm. It's fabulous. Go on then, we'll have a dip. Oh, it's lovely. It's like Phyllis then. Well, now ladies, you're the ones that have done all the hard work. Mm -hmm. Would you say it's worthwhile for the end result? Because that's, I think, what a lot of people will want to know. Mm. Mm. Considering that there's a, those big gaps in the process. Mm -hmm. So you do the first bit and then you can go do something else for an hour. Yeah. And Wait. then you do the next bit and you can go away for half an hour. Mm -hmm. Again. And just to be able to say, you've made your own bread. No. Sorry. You know. Mm. Now, what do you think people could eat this with? I just eat it right as it is. I'll yeah. just eat it all right now. Yeah, yeah, but what would it be nice with, do you think? Um, a nice salad. I was just going to say a salad. Mm. Yeah, a nice Greek salad mm. would be nice. Um, it's definitely a, a summer bread. It's not, mm, yes. it's not heavy at all. I'm glad I brushed oil on the outside because it's giving it that crispy. Yeah, it's gorgeous. I've got vinegar on my tights. Oh, Carol. Oh. Mavis. A washer. Mildred. At some stage. Beryl. Tina. <laughs> We're trying this other one. Yeah. Let's right. do it. We we'll actually try it without. Without first. Yeah. yeah. Get, the, get the olive. That's what I've got. Yeah, yeah. Mm. I only got one. I'm very annoyed. Mm. I love an olive. Mm. Oh. Mm -hmm. oh, with an olive. Mm. Fruity. Mm. Mm. Oh, I'll tell you what, you have done so well, I'm not just saying that. You've genuinely, it's proper nice. Mm. Have, a, have a watch in there. Do it. Little watch. First thing we've had this, you know, all day. Mm -hmm. Oh, after the day we've had everything we've been through. Beauty mm. cost. Oh. Mm. I love a bread dipped in oil and vinegar. Mm. I like, you know, when you go out for dinner or something, you can, you can just get like a bread basket, mm. right? Yeah. And all the whole bits and dips. <laughs> love that. Love that, mate. Oh, wow. Well, yeah. I'll finish that in a minute. I'm sweating like one of Lipton's. Mm. I've got green lipstick all over my bread. Oh, oh dear. Stop it. Mavis. Do you know, you can't have to tell you from Rotch Pause there. <laughs> <laughs> Nice. Yeah. Very nice. Beautiful. Lovely. Beautiful. Right. Well, finish. People don't want to hear us chobbling and jumping and bloody chewing like out scratchy pants. I would. So, we're going to pass the channel back to Jason and the lovely Paul. 
or we've missed him today, I don't know where he is. Helping someone somewhere. It's no always out helping someone somewhere. In his lovely cape. Perhaps <laughs> an old lady crossing the street. Perhaps. A small otter that's lost the river. Perhaps a kitten. Yes. About mother. Perhaps a child on Ilkley Moor. Bad hat. In this weather, bad hat. Hmm. The things that go on. <laughs> yes, my face is melting. Sounds like a good point to say. Try. Um, so we'll pass you back to those vegan guys. And we'll say <laughs> thank you so much for watching. Please like this video. These guys deserve more on the channel. They've put all their efforts away in 2019. All their efforts. Like this video. Subscribe to the channel. Have a look down there in the info and see all the wonderful things that they've got going on, on on social media and stuff. And watch out for that merch coming right soon. Love merch. It's all about our friend. You know, Karen. Ignore Karen. She isn't even vegan. Anyway, we'll get off. I know he won't mind me. He told me, he said, you've got my permission to do my little bit at the end. True that. So we'll say, we'll say goodbye. We'll say take care of yourself. We'll say be excellent to yourself and we'll say until next time, be excellent to each other. <coughs> Bye beautifuls. Mmm, <sighs> good and it's addictive. It's beautiful.